Hello and you might be wondering how much it would cost to create a WordPress website and for that I'm going to give you a cost breakdown of the whole WordPress website and obviously it is very much dependent on case by case related but I'll try to get to you as much detail as possible and first thing first if you go to my website which is dmmotionarts.com and you click on recommended you can actually check the recommended stuff that I use and like specifically like this hostinger and like this website is made on hostinger and stuff and it is made with elementor and stuff okay so we will get into it in a bit so first thing first if i click on hostinger so if you go into my recommended and if you click on hostinger it takes you to this place or you could simply use the link below to actually get there what hosting is basically is it is something that you cannot run away from it is not something that has a free alternative or anything basically hosting that we use it is a server that our website files are stored on so that anyone can access our website 24 7 and there are lots of different plans and now this is showing in rupees so it is showing in my country's currency but if you were on your in your own country it would show in dollar and stuff and hostings is something that you have to buy no matter what happens even though we have a hosting which is a server we also need something called domain so you see the name which is like dmmotionarts.com that is called domain and domain is basically the name of your website and when someone types the name it should load the files which are stored on the hosting now obviously if you go to hostinger if you use the link below and use hostinger you could actually go and scroll down to find a plan which works for you and then instead of this let's see if there is something so for the simple plan it might not be available so let's just try by changing this to com i guess and let's see so for dot com we don't have like four options so here you could see that based on your requirement it might provide free domain or not so here you could see we have a free domain we have a free domain we have a free domain so if you're planning to buy a hosting then you could also get like domain for free and the domain would be available for the first year a dot com roughly costs like uh 15 dollars i guess 12 to 15 dollars per year and hosting can be like very very uh, related to your requirement so why i say it is related to your requirement now hostinger is like very affordable one it is also a really good one which is why i am suggesting you again and again and you could use the link below to actually get hostinger but if you go to something like wp engine which is also like a hosting website so there are like godaddy uh, hostinger hostgator and all i would heavily recommend to not get godaddy don't get hostgator don't get bluehost even though if you go to wordpress official site it's it shows that you should choose like bluehost but again they are paid okay so wordpress is paid by bluehost to suggest their own hosting but as per the requirements as per the experience it is not good which is why i suggest getting hostinger or get something which is like costly like siteground or wp engine or stuff like that so if i check the pricing for the wp engine you could see it is 20 dollars per month but if we check the hostinger you could say it is three dollars four dollars or ten dollars per month which is like almost like ten per, ten times uh, lower price than this one but the thing is this guys would have like really really high speed for your website so the speed of your website is also depending on the quality of your hosting also it also depends on the quality of your website how you have made it if you are optimized the images and all how much content it is and how far the user is from the hosting that all matters but for that i do recommend getting like something like business plan so that you could use the free cdn that comes in cdn is basically like i don't know if it sh shows the uh, explanation here but cdn is basically it takes copies of your website and stores at different uh, servers all over the world so that anyone who visits your website it loads the closest to his location so as your website is stored in very different location the one closest to me which is like in india and let's say the server is in singapore it would give me the singapore server and the file would load faster but if i tried to load the file from something that is on us then it would load like slower because the distance is longer okay so if you go into like wp engine or stuff you could see it is 20 dollars per month there's like limits like 10 gb limits 50 gb bandwidth but stuff like this like the costlier the hosting it's usually like good too and again like i said hosting is like the only one that i know which is like affordable but it is also like really good another one i know is SiteGround, but like hostinger just comes with like more options like free domain and 
in the domain there's also something called uh privacy protection if you don't know what privacy protection is basically to uh, to get a domain you also need to provide some data about you like your address your name your phone number and that is for the security of the internet basically okay so when you add those inter uh, when you add those numbers and all if you don't get privacy protection your number would be online and anyone can just call you and then you know be like please do you want any support for your website and stuff you will get like annoying call annoying calls but hostinger just gives you free that the privacy domain you don't have to pay extra so it just gives you free which is why i do suggest getting like on hostinger so like i said the pricing can be so again i'm going to use notepad i know it is like very high end high quality <laughs> but i think it's easy to do so let's do price breakdown and the first one i have is hosting and it could be as cheap as four dollars per month so if i let's say click on this one and then let's do let's see so again you could see that there are like it is saying that for four year it is four dollars per month so if you choose 12 months it is five dollars okay that is like a scummy practice that hostinger does but it is still like very cheap considering that one and then we have uh it is 70 dollars for one year if we just do for one year usually it's good to get for two years so 127 like this but for this video we just do for one year okay so this is 70 dollars so if we do let's say hostinger it is 70 dollars per month okay so 70 dollars per year sorry and it also comes with free domain for first year which is approximately like 12 to 15 dollars per year okay so the first year would be free if you get like hostingers uh, business plan and all this could be the only cost that you might ever need for wordpress okay so nothing above this might be required based on your requirements for my website which is this one this is free almost free but i also use elementor pro because i create like lots of tutorial on elementor pro and elementor actually has a free version too which i have actually created lots of website for free uh, for my clients which actually use elementor free but i then switched to elementor pro just because elementor free has some limitations and Emil elementor pro has like those lim limitations removed okay so this is again you don't if you don't know what elementor is i'll explain to you okay so again this might be the only cost that you might need okay and obviously if you get like higher plans like this ten dollars the speed of your website would be better okay because we are getting like higher stuff like this so based on your plan based on the quality and all the speed would be different okay so this is the only thing that might be needed now when you get this hosting you can actually install uh so once you get this hosting you could install wordpress into it i have like a whole tutorial on it how to do that and all and then if i go to my page this is this is like my official website that i'm showing there is something that we use called themes now themes are like there are lots of themes so there are free themes and paid themes this version i am using a free theme because i have elementor pro but if you go to like this theme forest category and then wordpress you can actually purchase like cool themes like this uh, that are like really nice and even if you are doing e-commerce right for example this site has e-commerce but i am using free themes so if you want to do some if you want to check some stuff you could actually go to all products and then you could see that this is made using free themes and i have actually uh, changed it to my requirements so even if this is free there are there is like lots of uh, what you call configuration that you could do so you could say you could have the whole selling you could do you could sell your products you could like sell digital you could sell physical you could do everything with just uh, oops you could just do with this 70 dollars per year okay that's all you might even need after that it might increase like 70 dollars plus like 12 or 15 dollars per year okay so it would add uh, that cost but again if you just want to sell if you just want to like sell physical products if you just want to have an informative website if you want to have a portfolio you could just make it with this cost but this is how now where we change it so if we want to have something high end like if we want to have a really good booking functionality if we want to have a really good travel functionality or travel uh, booking functionality 
if we want really good e-commerce functionality. For example, this theme which I really really like, Woodmart, which is like WordPress WooCommerce theme. Uh, if you don't know what WooCommerce is, in WordPress we use something called themes and plugins, right? So themes, this is themes. So themes is something that adds like visual related stuff to your website. So you could see I have used Ocean WP theme. I also have a video explaining like. Ocean WP versus Astra theme, which are like the two best theme that I know on of the free version. So if you want, you could check it. And those two are free. They also have pro version, which improve the quality a lot. But again, for just starting out, free theme is like more than enough. So you just click add new. If you had a, pre, a paid theme, then you will like click upload theme and upload it. But again, if you scroll down and then this one is usually for Elementor Pro. And I'll explain to you later. But if we go down or not go down, it is like on top. So this is Astra you could see and this is Ocean WP. These two are like the most common uh, nice theme that I know. And I have an explanation of why these two are good or difference between them. So if you want that video, you could check it out. But themes allows us to create like visual stuff. But along with visual stuff, it also allows us to create like functionality stuff. So it for example, in this site, it added the functionality of, of this stuff, which is like adding this stuff, the filter tab, adding all of this. So teams can come up with just customization, but it can also come with features. So if you check the wood mat, if I go to the elements and you could see it actually comes with lots of features. It is a paid theme. It is $60 theme just so that you know, and usually that's what it costs. So. If we want to extend our stuff, we can actually choose themes and usually themes would cost like 60 to 70 dollars. And majority of the themes are like one time payment as much as I know and then rest of and from that it is usually like maintenance uh, cost, but it is very much dependent on the theme that you get. So this one is like 60 dollar, I believe. So if I click uh, to buy now, it should take me to theme forest and it is like 60 dollar you could see. And this one is the theme that I like for WooCommerce. So you could see it is showing WooCommerce and I'll show you what WooCommerce is. And you could see this allows us to create like a re really high end stuff like this. And it also comes with pre-created demos like this. But usually when someone who like makes his website himself, I look at the features rather than the design. So you could see that this is how it looks. If we want to check another stuff, if we want to, let's say, check shops, I just look at the features rather than looking at the design. So this is the feature that we could make stuff, uh, stuff and all with the themes. So there are lots of themes. There are themes just made for booking. There are themes just made for clinic purposes. There are themes made just for uh, travel purposes. If you go in, uh, in this WordPress themes, you could search the themes that you want you could even search on youtube like best travel themes best uh like best booking themes and stuff you could do that but along with themes you could also use something called plugins so if you go and click plugins add new and this is where also it comes up where if you want to use free version or if you want to use paid version obviously paid version will always be better because they provide more features but one important thing that you might install is Elementor. And it's not like the only one. Okay. So if you see Elementor, I have installed it and I have a premium version of this one, which is Elementor. But along with Elementor, there are like lots of stuff. And what these are, are called page builders. And page builders are something that allows us to just do drag and drop. So if I, let's say, click edit with Elementor. It allows us to create our own website by using drag and drop features because the default element, because the default WordPress features are like very, very, very like limited. They're very, very like, uh, I guess ancient. I, I think that would be like the right word. They are not to the industry standards that we want to use right now. So using like stuff like Bloxy or using stuff like Elementor are using any like Divi page builder. So there are lots of page builder. The common one that I know is like Elementor and all the tutorials I make uh, is with Elementor. And then we also have WooCommerce and then WooCommerce is something that allows us to sell products. So you get what I'm saying. 
what it is that plugins allows us to add more functionality to a website whereas themes allows us to create some themes also come with like functionalities but they also come with customizability of how our website should look like so based on this you might need so if you want plugins like paid plugins you might need to uh, you might need to like add more cost and again themes is something that you would only use one you would not use like two themes you would not use like three themes you would use one theme only but for plugins it could extend the cost so for example elementor obviously you could use free version nothing wrong with that but let's say if you use pro version it would cost like uh like hundred dollars per year i think so it would cost like $100 per year though there is also like a cheaper plan which is like $60 per year but they just messed the, messed it up they made it like it is uh, it does not have all the features so it's just not good to get basically but you could get the $100 one then we can actually get uh, some other plugins for example if we wanted want li really good contact form plugin but again there are free versions like this one is free version contact form there's also like contact form 7 plugin which is free and based on your requirement you would be using like those stuff but again contact form can be like $30 to $60 again this is like very much dependent on your requirement like I said this is all you might require nothing else you might require from this point on but based on how much you want your website to have how much functionality you want then it might increase the cost and again like i said themes come with their own functionality and there are lots of the times where themes come up with such a good functionality that you might not even need extra plugins okay but this is why i use like woodmart i really like woodmart because it comes with like really good uh, features like filter area ajax hidden bar and usually we might be using like themes for it or oh, sorry plugins for it you could see it also comes with like this variable swatches it comes with load more button it also comes with like different single uh, products it comes with lots of so many features it comes with like cookie law info age verification for which you might be using plugins but which is why a really good theme which comes with all the functionality is good and that way i might only need to use like the 60 dollar theme once and that's all we might not need any plugin but again elementor is something that i use to create website so elementor is something that i have the pro version again this is like contact form 7 it also has like free version or basically it is the free version but there is also paid version and the free version is like almost good then we have the seo plugin which is like free version 2 but if you want to get pro version it would be uh again increasing the cost now the pro version is like very much dependent on like like this plugin has feature that i really really require and that is the only time you might need to uh, buy the plugin okay so how about we check the cost breakdown so the cost breakdown would be like just hosting and domain which would be like 70 dollars plus 15 dollars per year and then rest of it is like very much dependent on you so theme would be only one so it would be 60 dollar per year and then plugins can be infinite okay so it can be infinite amount based on your requirements so yeah that's all the page all the price breakdown that you need to know there's nothing like crazy and again i forgot to show you but this is like the page builder you could see i can just drag and drop i can create content inside of this i can make stuff inside of this and just it just makes it easier to create your website with page builder okay which is why we use page builders and this is and plugins come up with their own functionality like woocommerce adds its own functionality which allows us to sell products with it comes with like this add to cart buttons it comes with this gallery it comes with all this stuff that are like common in our websites okay it comes with up the, comes up with this cart and this cart functionality is based on your theme okay so some theme might actually have like a really good cart functionality for example if this if you go to this woodmart let's try this one i guess if i click on this you could see it comes up with really nice it comes up with compare functionality which is why themes also increase the increase the features of a plugin so it it increases the feature of the word uh, sorry woocommerce plugin so again go to your recommended click hosting that you want i would suggest hosting girl 
and then if you want page builder click on here using this links is a way to support me because if you click this link i get a small commission and again you do not pay anything extra if you use my links you pay the same amount but because i reference you to elementor or if i reference you to hostinger i get paid a small commission and this is something that i use for example this site is hosted on hostinger and this site is made with elementor pro and this is also using ocean wp theme so again i am not recommending something that i do not use i'm only recommended something that i actually use and have i have experience with okay so that's all the cost breakdown that you need to know and yeah just make your website like and subscribe for more i have like full tutorials on website on my youtube and that's all thanks for watching goodbye